Welcome to Recording School Online Videos. We're looking at Cubase 6.5. This is a quick start guide for beginners to show you how to get set up and running both MIDI recording and audio recording. So if you're new to Cubase 6.5, this will get you going. Now when you first start the program, you'll see the Project Assistant. And that gives you all kinds of options, such as recording basic acoustic guitar and vocal, scoring, production, mastering, and so forth and so on. For this video, we want you to follow us and we want you to select empty. We're going to start from scratch and show you how to do it yourself. Double click on empty. Now you're going to have your choice for a folder. Just make a new folder, name it, and click OK. Now we're inside of Cubase. Now the first thing you want to do is make sure that your video card is set up to record. Your audio card, that is. Go to Devices. Come down to VSD Connections. Now, before we can set up audio inputs, we want to make sure we have our inputs set up correctly with our audio card. Now, it's good to have a set of stereo and mono inputs set up. Now, if you're only going to be doing mono recording, then just set up a mono input. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to remove this bus. And under Inputs, make sure you're in Inputs. Double click or single click on Add Bus. And what comes up is Add Input Bus. You have the choice, several choices. We're just going to focus on mono and stereo. If you're just using one microphone to record, for instance, an acoustic guitar or vocal, just use mono. And that's set up. Under your audio device, you will see your sound card. Make sure that's selected. In most cases, that will be automatic. If not, select it. Then choose your port, and that's the input you're using on your sound card for that microphone. To keep things simple, I recommend just connecting your microphone to input one. Then coming down here under device port, left-clicking, and choose one. Simple as that. Now, for stereo inputs, if you're doing stereo recording of any type, whether it be line, level, or microphone, simply add the bus, choose stereo. Set it up, and make sure it's, coming, it's relating to the inputs you're using on your sound card or input device. Then click on Output. And in most cases, this is very simple to set up or is already done for you. Simply choose your audio device, if it's not already chosen, and choose port 1 and 2. 1 and 2. You don't see that here because we don't have one set up. You will see it on yours. OK. Now we're ready to add our tracks. Go to Project, Add Track Audio. Left click. And if you're recording just a mono, single microphone input, choose mono, such as for a vocal or acoustic guitar. Add Track, and you're set up. Let's take it a little bit further. In case you're not hearing audio, I just clicked F3 to give me this. I can also go onto the window here and whoop, choose my mixer. Now these are the things I know that hang up a lot of people at first is just getting around. That's why I want to cover all this. We've got our mono and stereo input set up here. Now if you're using a smaller version, 
not the full version of Cubase, but one of the smaller versions, you might not see this, so don't worry about it. What you want to do is go over to your track and go up to here and make sure that you're using the proper input. It, like, once I, like I said, you may not hear anything. This will fix that. In this case, just for the single microphone, click Mono In. Go down to Audio. Click on Monitor. And when you're ready to record, record Enable. At that point, you will need to start record at this point on this device here. If you don't see this, click on F2 if you're using a PC. Not sure what it is for Mac, but you can look in the manual. Okay, now if you want to set up for recording a VSTi MIDI instrument, simple enough. Project, add track, instrument. Pick the instrument you want, add track, and it's set up. Now, if you want to choose your sounds, go up to that channel, click on this Edit VST Instrument. There it is. Now, simply go up here, choose the sound you want, and when you play your keyboard, you should be able to hear it. There we go. Now you're all set. And when you're ready to record, once again, click on record. To play back, take it back to the beginning, hit play, and you'll hear it. That should get you up and running in Cubase 6.5. Check out all our videos and our many advanced videos and mixing tutorials for Recording School Online.